Welcome to the Santa Fe Watershed Association's Watershed Stewardship video series. In this video, we briefly discuss some guiding questions and practices that can help us honor and steward our watershed through reading the landscape. Even in our relatively small watershed, there are many different ecosystem types and microclimates, from steep alpine forests to desert springs, from prairie scrublands to parking lots. Being curious, observing unique ecocultural features, and understanding the geologic, ecological, and human history of a local area can help us apply general ideas of stewardship. Let's practice. Ecology is the study of the numerous interactions between and among living and non-living things in an area. For landscape reading, then, the more interactions we can think of and observe, the more complete our understanding will be. As we begin to understand the features of the landscape and how they interact, we can then start thinking about how they might be impacted by certain events, such as a big rainstorm, drought, or nearby development. Some helpful questions to begin with are, what's the topography like? Is it steep or flat? Which direction are the slopes facing? For example, if the slopes are steep, that probably means that any moisture that falls there will flow off the surface very quickly, picking up speed, collecting in channels, and causing erosion. A slope that's facing south will be hotter and drier than a slope that's facing north. What kind of precipitation does the area get, and how does water collect and flow through? In a heavy rainstorm, for example, does water collect somewhere and slowly infiltrate, or does it flow away rapidly? What's the soil like? Is it very rocky, sandy, or more fine? You can look at the Natural Resources Conservation Service website for more information on your local soil. Water infiltrates into sandy soil easily, but smaller particles like clay and silt help soil hold water. Is the soil bare, or is it covered with vegetation? If the soil is bare, it is at much higher risk of being eroded by wind and water, and it's constantly losing moisture to evaporation, making it difficult for plants and other organisms to live in it. Is the soil actively eroding? Look for patches of bare soil, steep arroyo walls, head cuts, and rills. If no vegetation is growing there, or plant roots are exposed, the soil is most likely actively eroding. What kind of vegetation do you observe? Is it dense or sparse, arid adapted or more moisture dependent, annual or perennial? What's the species diversity like? Many invasive weed species are fast growing annuals that can survive in harsh conditions where the landscape has been disturbed. They don't do as much for the landscape as native plants, which are more often perennial and maintain a living root throughout the year. What kind of animals do you think would use this landscape? Is there pollinator habitat or bushes like chamisa for small mammals and birds to hide in? Could larger mammals use the area to hunt or as a corridor? What landscapes are nearby? A trail, road, parking lot? or open field? If there is a big parking lot upstream, for example, the landscape you're observing might be impacted by significant runoff and pollution. What's the land use history of the area? Was it previously overgrazed, mined, used for a dump site, or left to rest for decades? Landscapes can take decades or even centuries to recover from certain impacts. Our watershed has a long history of overgrazing, for example, which impacted plant diversity and compacted the top soil layers, making it difficult for the soil to recover its health. What's the longer human history of the area? We will discuss this topic more in another video, but in this watershed, it's always helpful to keep the long and complex layers of human relationships with the land in mind. Once you have asked these or similar questions and made observations, you can begin establishing some management goals based on your observations and priorities. What is the time frame and budget you're thinking of? 
Are you trying to protect wildlife, rehabilitate soil, store water, protect infrastructure? Each person's stewardship actions will be different in each place depending on their goals. As you continue to practice reading the landscape and thinking about the countless interactions and relationships taking place, we also invite you to contextualize your observations in widening circles of relationships. How do your local observations relate to phenomena occurring in other parts of the watershed? How do they fit into the trajectory of geologic history? How are your local observations related to local, regional, or even international environmental and political phenomena? Regularly practicing reading your local landscape is a simple and easy way to remember that we are all connected and that even in a wide world with daunting problems, we can make a difference. Check out the links in the video description and feel free to reach out to the Santa Fe Watershed Association for additional resources, information, or guidance. Thanks for watching. See you around the watershed.